All right, what's up guys? Uh, so this is, the last video was kind of rough, so my bad on that one. So this is my 2017 Subaru Forester. I uh, got it about like two and a half years ago. I did not really do too many mods, honestly, to it. Let's go over the basic stuff. So first off, I have one inch wheel spacers for the wheels. You can kind of see that, but they're right there. Um, my buddy that sold it to me, he found the cross strike wheels, put them on. I got the mud flaps right here. Not too bad of an install. There's videos out there that you can find on YouTube to get them installed. It's um, they're pretty simple. Engine bay, not nothing happened besides changing the air filter. I put the k &N air filter in, just pop that in. And then for um, oil, I just do. The, I mainly stick to Wix oil filter. Um, if not, then whatever is like second best after that. For the back cargo space. Oh, by the way, I have the license plate thingy. Oh, it's Adventure Seeker. I like that. I got. It, I bought it from the Subaru dealership. So I like that little mod, if you would say. We got this guy. So in the last video, I went over it briefly. This is the Viobi power inflator basically it um it works it works good i just have the battery right here whenever i need it pop it in so i need to put it on the, the actual valve stem and go straight to work and then i'm able to pump up my tires after going off-roading for x amount of time because you know it's best to deflate the tires when you're off-road and so it has a less chance of getting like cut by rocks and so for the cargo space i picked it up briefly but i'm gonna try and show you more this time let's drop that down a little bit this so this is just basic cargo space this is actually the um cargo cover so this thing pulls out you can see it pulls out connects right here and then you bring it all the way over here loop it and it covers a whole cargo space. I got these things from my grandma. It's a little um, flasher thing, specifically at night or um, when you need to be seen at night, basically. And you have a flat tire or whatever, pull up on the side of the road. These are my junk free cables. This is my emergency kit, very basic um, amenities. This is just extra little um, sanitizer, sanitizers. Sanitize, sanitization stuff. This is first aid stuff again. And then this right here underneath, as I saw before, is my fire extinguisher, uh, more lighting, and bungee cords. That's basically it for what I have on here. I didn't really do much else besides, okay, yes. As you can hear, I have an aftermarket exhaust. Pretty much self expansory. It's a nameless stainless steel exhaust. That thing is, I love it. It sounds nice, nice little rumble. Not too high, not too low. Sometimes it is a little loud because it's like nighttime, going up hills, whatever. But I don't mind it. I try and keep it in the lower PMs for the most part. This is broken. It just, I don't know. I don't know. The dealership that my best friend bought it from, like, that's just how it was. So someone somehow broke i don't know how you could break that but they broke it they did it there's also this light setup down here and also quick right there it's a little rgb thing i bought it from i believe super speed um this connects a little um that's the ground that you connect it to and then the wire ring goes through there it goes to a little fuse up in a fuse box which is up here which, by the way, I installed this as well. I got it from Etsy. This guy was making them. You can pull it out. It's kind of nice. You get to pull it out if you don't want it. And I can't do it right now. Yeah, I can. Yeah, pull it out. This is the connections. And if you don't want that, then you have a little coin thing. So, nice little touch-up stuff. I'm excited for using that in the future. I've been having it in for a while now. I still haven't used it. So, that's basically most of the stuff that i did i haven't really done anything else to this car so let's just go draw a little 
basic lot ride down. I believe this is Marsh Creek Road. I've only been here one time on my motorcycle that I had years ago. It was really just a couple years ago.